Now, the state has been simmering ever since violence broke out last month with the clashes between the majority Maitis and the Kuki tribals leading to the loss of lives and livelihoods. A heart-wrenching human tragedy is unfolding in strife torn Manipur. Here's a report from Ground Zero. A heart-wrenching human tragedy is unfolding in strife torn Manipur. With the clashes between the majority Maitais and the Kuki tribals leading to the loss of over 70 lives so far. There are deep-rooted fissures between the two sides and both are suffering. In Manipur's capital Imphal, this family is mourning the loss of a loved one shot dead. Anger, mistrust and frustration has now paved way for grief. More than 70 people have died in Manipur since the first week of May, ever since violence and unrest gripped the state. Now, the bodies are slowly being handed over to the families and therefore, these funeral processions where uh, people are paying their homage, locals and family members are grieving the death of their uh, loved ones, that process has started. The victim, Ning Thujang, is a daily wage labourer and his family has dismissed the 10 lakh rupees excretion announced by the state government. In Manipur, the price is very big. In this country, I am also very much in the job. That's why 10 lakh rupees are not going to be. The blame game between the two sides does not cease. The Maytays are adamant the victim lost his life at the hands of Kuki militants. We Maytay community are the peace lover. Anything happens in Manipur, we try to uh, control everything means in the sense that no one should be injured. Uh, I don't think it's the Kuki uh, people started also. I suspect militant. From, from Myanmar? From Burma, from outside? I don't know, Kuki militants. Some of the people, they call themselves Kuki. They held a solidarity march on the day, right? With a sophisticated gun, right? They have started burning, burning down our, like, houses and all. So the aggression has been started in Infal, right? So, no. 60 kilometers away from the capital is Churachanpur, where another tragedy struck. This family is also mourning the death of a loved one. Lal Thun Sang, a 47-year-old daily wage laborer from the Kuki community and the sole breadwinner of his family. With bodies piling at the morgue, this family is yet to receive their loved one's body. The children are impoverished and their future appears to be bleak. Manipur is ripped apart by the violence. A cloud of uncertainty looms over the people as the divide between two major communities of the state remains unbridged. With Indrajit Kundu in Manipur, Bureau Report, India Today.